Welcome to the Clemson Sustainable Biofuels Project. Behind me is our mobile processor where we produce biodiesel fuel. Biodiesel is a clean burning, renewable, domestic fuel. It can be made from any animal fat or vegetable oil, including waste cooking oils. This year at Clemson University, we'll make approximately 3,000 gallons of biodiesel. This is made primarily from used cooking oil collected from campus restaurants. Hi, I'm Laura, and today I'm going to take you on a journey with David Thornton and his oil collection team as they collect used cooking oil and process it to create biodiesel. The first step, of course, is to collect the used cooking oil, which they do once a week from restaurants downtown. First, the radio is set to 88.1 WSBF, the team's favorite station. David is driving under the influence of clean burning biodiesel to the first participating restaurant, Brioso. At Brioso, the oil is consolidated into the container that the cooking oil was first purchased in and carried out to the truck. There is also another way that the biofuels program can collect oil from a restaurant, which we will see here at Crocs. Crocs was provided with an environmentally sound double walled tank where the business owner can deposit the used cooking oil. Then, the vacuum truck can come and suck out the contents of the tank. The pump runs on power from the truck's engine, which runs on 100% biodiesel. After collecting the oil, the process of making biodiesel begins. The used cooking oil collected at local businesses is brought back here to our lab in McAdams, uh, which is called our bioenergy lab. And our bioenergy lab is powered by renewable energy. It's a combination of being powered by a 10 kilowatt diesel generator powered by 100% biodiesel, as well as a solar array on the roof. And between these two, our lab and our process is about 70% powered by renewable energy. First, the residual food, referred to as gravy, settles out of the collected oil. The oil remains on the top as the gravy settles to the bottom of the tank. This oil on top is what is used to make the biodiesel. Then we begin processing the oil. To do this, the methanol is first siphoned off of the oil, which is then mixed with a catalyst. Here, you can see the team measuring out the catalyst needed for the reaction. The mixture is then pumped into a reactor and the glycerin is allowed to settle. The byproduct is removed and the biodiesel is ready to be pumped into another tank to be cleaned. Finally, this oil is filtered, leaving clean, usable biodiesel. The clean biodiesel is transported to a tank where it is used by Clemson Facilities Vehicles. Facilities has also become a part of the program as um, one of the sponsors of the program as well as the end user of the fuel. So when we make our fuel and we test it to the ISTM quality, it ultimately gets distributed in the Clemson Facilities fleet. As we increase, and we hope to be at 10,000 gallons by the end of next year, uh, we're, we're going to see both our emissions profile improve as well as uh, the financial incentives to producing our own renewable fuel. In 2011, the biofuels program will have produced about 3,000 gallons of biodiesel from used cooking oil. By collecting oil from more restaurants combined with the additional feedstocks for oil research by the program, they can expand production to 10,000 gallons of biodiesel by the end of 2012. 